You know, merely climbing on Mount Stupidity takes a certain kind of person. But to climb higher and harder than anyone has done before, that requires a true visionary like Elon Musk. I mean, you might have thought the uh, loop was bad. You wait till you hear about the extension that's just been uh, finished. Now, many thought that, you know, just with the loop itself, Elon Musk could hit peak stupidity. You know, when its grand opening was revealed to be nothing more than 60 taxis driving slowly around a storm drain. Oh, but no, no, let's be fair. It did have the visionary idea of putting uh, disco lights in there. You know, this was after they'd promised that they'd be moving around at 150 miles per hour. I mean, would it be incredible if you could travel around LA, New York, DC, Chicago, Paris, London, anywhere at, a, at 150 miles an hour? That'd be ph phenomenal. You know, because what makes more sense than driving a car through a tunnel than putting a car on top of a, another car and then driving that through a tunnel? Yes, that, that, that makes perfect sense. I mean, just think of all the wear and tear you will save by putting the car on a car. In fact, here's an even better idea. Why not save the wear and tear on that car by putting it on top of another car? Now, many thought when this was reported as an amazing breakthrough that that was peak stupidity. As you descend the escalator into the loop station, you see the Teslas waiting to whisk you into a tunnel 43 be feet below ground. Now, you might think, all right, it's like a subway. Is it boring driving down here with all of this? Oh my, there's a traffic jam. Oh. But this is more like a highway underground. And because it's Las Vegas, this is also a thrill ride. With new people constantly, it's not too bad. Uh, but when it's slow and you're by yourself, it, it kind of gets a little boring sometimes. You know, with this system that combined all the inefficiencies of car travel, or more specifically, taxi travel, like high labor costs and a, a driver for each car, low occupancy, with typically one or two people in each car. You know, because the last thing that you want from your uh, public transport is to share it with someone else. After all, as Elon Musk said, they might be a serial killer. And of course, needlessly hauling around a ton and a half or so of high-tech $100,000 metal and plastic with you in a tight, confined space. Also, you can not take advantage of the low roll resistance of, say, steel wheels on a steel track. While sharing all of the restrictions of public transport, like being able to only move between three locations, while 60 taxis could, of course, go anywhere in the city. At which point, you've really got to ask yourself, is the boring company an amazing vision of the future of transport? Or is Elon Musk just running a small taxi firm that moves slowly between only three destinations? And if you think that's beat stupidity, not even close. You wait till you hear about the extension. This takes it to truly mind-blowing levels. I mean, let's start with the basics. You know, what's the quickest way to connect two points? You know, one of the advantages of using a tunnel is you can just go in a straight line between A and B. Like if you wanted to say connect the Las Vegas Convention Center loop to the Resorts World Hotel, well, it's a tunnel. So you just want to go from there to there. It's about a quarter of a mile. So uh, it's going to look something like uh, that, right? Well, curiously not. Turns out this is the actual route taken by the loop. Now, there are slightly conflicting plans about what the hell's going to happen here. But the guts of it seem to be is the boring company only has permission to dig under the property of the people who own the Las Vegas Convention Center and the Resorts World Hotel. So, of course, if there is a building in the way where you don't have permissions to dig under, you can't do it. So you've got to take a rather peculiar route to get your tunnel from A to B. Now, the actual stretch of tunnel that they've dug, I'm not entirely sure actually whether they've actually dug it for the whole of the bend or just, just basically digging an underpass, but let's just say it's the whole thing. Then that's about a half mile of tunnel, less than a kilometer, and that took them about a year to dig. Hell, they got the permissions about 18 months ago. So this is from Electric in June of 2020, which is about 18 months ago now. Elon Musk's boring company Loop is expanding again in Las Vegas with another customer. Hang on, a picture of the Resorts World Hotel. 
and electrics take. The vision is becoming real. The boring machine is already there. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of work connecting uh, the Worm and Resorts World Las Vegas to the convention center. Two casinos have now jumped on board. You can bet many other casinos are going to raise their hands in order to not be left behind. It's exciting. We're likely going to see what an actual citywide loop is going to look like. Yes, an extra single lane of slow-moving taxi travel. And given their uh, boast, of course, about how this new advanced tunneling machine was going to do 100 meters per day, the tunneling should have taken them about, uh, well, 10 days. So this is from the actual Boring Company website. Proofrock, this is their advanced tunnel boring machine, is designed to porpoise, means it launches directly from the surface of mines underground, blah, blah, blah. Proof Rock is designed to tunnel at speeds greater than one mile per week, which means they should have finished this tunnel in about three or four days rather than a year, which is six times faster than the boring company's previous generation of tunnel boring machine. This is still four to five times slower than Garden Snell, but Proof Rock is catching up. Proof Rock's medium goal is to exceed a tenth of human walking speed, which is seven miles per day which means their aspirations are to dig seven miles per day. And after years of trying, they're up to about 0 0.001 miles per day. And just so we're clear, we're not talking this is world class still or something. This isn't even proficient within the industry. The channel tunnel was about 30 miles long, had three tunnels in it, and they dug it in about five years, about five miles per year-ish. Along comes Elon Musk with his promise to revolutionize tunnel boring and delivers about half a mile per year. But I'm sure Elon Musk will be very confident that in the next year or so, they're going to get that factor of 7,000 improvement. And believe me, Elon Musk is the man to bet on when it comes to the tech developments of the future. Like this headline from Electric, Tesla CEO Elon Musk drops his prediction for full autonomous driving from three years to just two. Wow, that was going to be his. Oh, hang on. That was in 2015. <laughs> Meanwhile, in 2022, Tesla are full self-driving comes with the release notes, they may do the uh, wrong thing at the worst time, and the drivers should keep their hands on the steering wheel at all times and be fully attentive to the road. So Tesla full self-driving is kind of like um, driving, with the obvious difference that you got to pay Tesla $10,000 for the full self-driving software. And now, let's take a look at this software in action by some Tesla fans, shall we, who are singing its praises about how amazing this software will be. But now, with the software update, you can actually make thousands of people drive safer just with the software update overnight. Wow, that's actually, yeah, that's actually healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to have to cut that? Uh, yes, we are going to have to cut that. But it is remarkable the way that the second the guy takes his hands off the steering wheel, it lunges for the first cyclist it sees. You can actually make thousands of people drive safer. I am inevitable. Safer. Just with the software update overnight. Wow, that's actually... Yeah. That's actually... Exterminate! Anyway, Elon Musk took to Twitter to celebrate his single lane underpass by tweeting, high time we had tunnels to this picture of a traffic jam in New York City. I regret to inform us, sir, that New York has actually had a metro system for some time now. To say there is a chasm between their aspirations and their ability would be kind of an understatement. You know, promising this a massive high-speed underground metro service that costs a dollar. I mean, it would have been incredible if you could travel around LA, New York, DC, Chicago, Paris, London, anywhere at, a, at 150 miles an hour. That'd be ph phenomenal. It's sort of like, it's almost like an autonomous underground multi-level car system. Yeah, that costs a dollar. That costs a dollar, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then delivering this? You know, I can't really quite work out whether this is pure self-delusion 
or whether it's because... I'm a or maybe I'm a god Zooming around the planet in my hyperloofing pod And they've only dug one tunnel. You see, I'm still not entirely certain whether they're actually going to dig two tunnels here. For the plans, it looks kind of like they're only digging one. So you've now got a choice. This is either going to be a one-way tunnel and you're just going to drive back on the surface. We'll come back to that in a second. Or you're going to have two-way traffic going through this tunnel. Two-way traffic going through a single-lane tunnel. Yeah, that might be kind of entertaining. Now, if you think that's too stupid for even Elon Musk, I'm not entirely certain. It does kind of sound like their dugout loop plan. It, yes, they did actually pitch the idea of a single lane tunnel for a mass transport system that would take traffic in both directions. For which many hailed Musk as some sort of inspirational genius. Whereas in reality, of course, not quite true. You see, I'm still not entirely certain what they've done here. You see, if you take a look on the Boring Company website, uh, apparently the West Hall station now isn't where it currently is. It's now in the middle of the car lot because, I don't know, maybe they mislabel their maps or something, but it does make it kind of curious. Does that mean there's actually, that's where the entrance is? Certainly, if you take a look at this map, it does look like they just drive across the car lot and then use the most expensive underpass in history to cross the road. I mean, you can think of these like wormholes. It, it like, oh, I need to get to the other side of LA or New York or whatever, drop down the wormhole, phew, pop out the other side. But this boring company plan seems to make it clear it's a single lane tunnel, as does this one and this one. Leading to the very interesting question, uh, how exactly is traffic going to circulate in this thing? Yeah, you've only got two options. They're either going to have two-way traffic going through a single lane tunnel, don't put it past mask, or alternatively, the uh, future of transport now consists of taxi travel on normal roads exactly as it is today except elon musk has added the advantage that the return journey now rather than being a quarter of a mile trip over safe overground existing roads is now a half mile trip through a slow moving underground death trap storm drain underpass i'm not sure which is dumber in fact i can't but help think that there was some sort of legendary knowledge dispensed by Elon Musk on this exact point. The best part is no part. The best process is no process. It weighs nothing, costs nothing, um, can't go wrong. So as obvious as that sounds, the best, the best part is no part. Oh, that's smart. I think I get what you're saying. It would be really stupid to build lots of pointless extra tunnels. My, the, the thing I'm most impressed with in when I have the design meetings at SpaceX is what did you undesign? Undesigning is the best thing. Just delete it. That's the best thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, Elon, I've got a great idea for your Las Vegas tunnels project. Why not delete the underpass? Yes, boom, I've just saved Elon Musk millions of dollars. The cars could just drive from here to here. I've, I've simplified it by undesigning the tunnel out of this great loop idea. Now, you don't just pave a road through an underground tunnel. You do it above ground. The above ground tunnel, it weighs nothing, costs nothing, can't go wrong, you know, like an underground death trap can. And on top of that, the overground tunnel takes zero time to build because it's already there. Even better, what if we undesign putting 30 passengers into 30 chauffeur-driven luxury taxis, which cost about $100,000 each, and replace them with, say, a single bus. I've reduced the costs of the vehicles by at least an order of magnitude, and the manpower requirements by an order of magnitude, and the carbon footprint by about an order of magnitude. I've made the system at least 30 times simpler, simply by undesigning all of this superfluous elements to Elon Musk's system. But I want to be clear, this isn't a bus service. This is a hyperpod that travels in overground tunnels. And that's, that's I think, really quite, quite profound. Um, this, I think, will be quite, quite profound because if it's like the most profound software upgrade maybe in history. You can actually make 
thousands of people drive safer just with a software update overnight. Wow, that's actually, yeah, that's actually healthy. <laughs> it's like the most profound software upgrade maybe in history. Now, to call the Las Vegas loop system half-baked vaporware would really be giving it way too much credit. Uh, as you'll see, this is the original plan for the Las Vegas loop. And if you're thinking this looks like someone actually just sort of splodged it down in MS Paint, and it doesn't really quite look like something that was dreamt up by a genius entrepreneur billionaire looking to revolutionize transport, well, you're right. So let's zoom in on the original plans and see what it looks like. So there we go. There's Resorts World and the Las Vegas Convention Center. And you'll notice that the Las Vegas Convention Center, when they're building the extension, seems to, wow, well, they've, they've discovered that you can build tunnels in straight lines. That's an amazing, that's amazing. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what they were originally planning. This is what they actually built because that first of all, they didn't realize that, um, you know, you can't just dig under someone else's property. You actually need planning permission on all that sort of thing. And secondly, this is basically the tightest corner that they can actually dig with a tunnel boring machine, which is not far off this one. This one is like a, a 30 mile per hour corner at best. So this is going to be 20, 30 mile per hour traffic in this tops. Yeah, especially given it's a, a narrow gauge tunnel. But now you can see just how little effort was put in to the original boring tunnel plans for the Las Vegas loop. So we can actually go for a joyride, you know, taking engineering reality here and seeing how much they've respected that when they were drawing up their plans. And the answer is basically not even slightly. It's someone just got down on paint and drew on some dotted lines and said, yeah, boom, there we go, uh, done. Uh, that, that, that's your uh, Las Vegas transport system. But uh, just to show how truly delusional it is, you come down, they, they basically got on Google Maps and put all the hotels on here and just connected them with dotted lines. Uh, it's like, yeah, well, why, why do they only bend one way again? Anyway, the, the, the bit that's really funny is once you get down to the bottom here, and it says to Los Angeles. And yes, legitimately, initially they were saying that they were gonna extend this tunnel system to Los Angeles. Four miles of strip, there's the convention center, here's the airport, and here's where they're building Raiders Stadium right now. They're talking about the potential, not only to connect all of this, but to Los Angeles, which they say, if it happened, would save people half an hour, even on flights, guys. You might be saying, okay, yeah, their, 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 their first plans were a little on the half-baked side. Now, of course, they've got something that's way more sophisticated for their new loop design. Okay, well, let's do exactly the same thing and see how much of engineering reality they've factored in to their, their new design for the extended loop here. So this is the, the, the bit that exists. This is the... Las Vegas Convention Center loop, and boom, that's about right. This is the tightest turning circle they can dig. So if we find places where the turning circle is bigger than this, yeah, they, they, they might have not put as much work into this as you would hope. And okay, let's roll up here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. Um, but okay, let's keep on rolling up and none of it bears the slightest lip service to tunneling reality where they only have permission to dig under the roads which is why they ended up making this huge banana in the first place and yeah you go all the way down to the other end and none of this is ever going to happen it's just like yeah this is the best corner that we can dig this is what we have planning permission to dig yeah i I think it's better to call this vaporware. But hey, wait, no, let, let's let's go see their their extension going all the way. <laughs> all these 90 degree corners they can't bend. <gasps> all these connections they can't do. And yeah. Someone just got on to MS Paint and put on some blue lines and said, done. That there you go. That's your um Las Vegas revolutionary new transport system done. 
we're, we're, we're not talking millions of dollars worth of thought and planning here. We're talking 15 minutes on paint. And if you're thinking, there, there's no way that any sensible person could have approved such plans. No, these were the actual plans submitted to the city of Las Vegas and approved by them. Yeah, if only some of these people had paid attention when I called this bullshit out years ago. To carry 16 people at up to 150 miles per hour. Travel time, 12 minutes, four times faster than the current 17-mile trip. Super excited to do what I think is going to be groundbreaking technology in one of the greatest cities in the world. Zooming round the planet in my hyperloop and pond.